Hey, what's up, YouTube family? This is Leah Boone with Monarch Ministries. Welcome to the channel. Sorry, I don't have any makeup on. Not that I usually wear it, but, you know, not much anyway. But <laughs> I didn't put on any mascara. But anyways, I noticed in one of my videos that um, my teeth were like gray because I've been drinking a lot of coffee. So I've been trying to whiten my teeth. But y'all, I'm lucky to have teeth, okay? I was on methamphetamines for a while. So I'm, I'm lucky that I even have my teeth still. So I'm just, I'm grateful. Anyways, sorry, went off there. Um, the Lord was speaking to me about purification by fire. And I wasn't real sure what that was. I was in prayer and I heard purification. And I heard Bombay sapphire and beauty for ashes the deaf cobra hearing and oil of joy for mourning and sometimes when I pray I just get bits and pieces and I have to like do some research and um, let the Lord minister to me a little bit about what's going on but I had this dream where I went to get my car looked at like the the tires and I was like I just wanted to get my tires rotated and I thought all of my tires were okay but then all of a sudden the guy pops up on the other t side of my car with this with, hey, he had taken off my back passenger tire and it was like all messed up <laughs> like it was it was just all the like wire was showing like it was bad and um I, what, I didn't know what to think of that dream, and I don't, I don't like to do dream interpretations that much because um, I've had a problem with remembering my dreams and stuff like that. But this, this really um, goes along with this. So this is what the Lord has been doing in me, and so I know that He's doing it in other people, and so I wanted to put this out because He can't. You know, it's one of those things like he keeps like and until you like get it out it's you just it, it will not leave you alone so I'm, I'm putting it out and um so purification by fire so the scripture for this is Zechariah 13 verse 9 and it says I will bring one third through the fire will refine them will refine them as silver is refined and test them as gold is tested they will call on my name and I will answer them and each I will say this is my people and each one will say the Lord is my God also Isaiah I think Isaiah. Behold, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. That's Isaiah 48, 10 and Zechariah 13, verse 9. So those are the scriptures I'm using to support. Um, this is what the Lord led me to. This is what supports the purification by fire. Proverbs 17, verse 3 says, Silver and gold are purified by fire but God purifies the heart. So God is doing this like spring cleaning. He is bringing to the surface things in your heart that were hidden that you didn't know were there so that he can refine you in the fire so he can show you these hidden things that are inside your heart so that he can sanctify you and purify you and cleanse you in the name of Jesus. The dream of the tires, I was thinking all of the tires were okay, and I just was going to get them rotated, but then the guy pops up with one of the tires, you know, being all messed up with the wire showing, and I didn't, I didn't see it, and so God says there's some, there's some hidden things in your heart that he wants to cleanse, and so he's going to be revealing these things to you, and he wants you to pray about it, um, the Bombay Sapphire thing, now back of like a month and a half ago, when I first got to, hold on, sorry, oh, my, my dog, 
she gets rowdy sometimes and she's got this blue ball anyways anyways so um where was i the tire the the god wants you to pray about these hidden things in your heart and if you have noticed or you may start to notice um him bringing up things from the past or from your childhood um, that you have not thought about in a very long time or he could be um, helping you remember things that you had forgotten about um, that you need to repent for and um, he's wanting to clean, cleanse your soul cleanse your heart um, he wants to renew your heart this is a spiritual um, cleansing the thing about oh the Bombay Sapphire so um, back when I was in Austin at the beginning of March God was bringing me all of these things about India so I waited to put out this word because I wasn't sure if God was saying that he was go going to be doing a purification by fire in India as well but I believe this is for um, the body of Christ people in the body of Christ as well um, I don't know that much about what's going on in India um, I had to do a little research. I know there's been earthquakes over there. And um, so I prayed into that. I prayed against, you know, um, what's going on over there. Um, Christianity in India is on the rise, um, according to statistics. But there are some persecutions. Um, I believe that... God is going to be doing a purification by fire in India um, like that's a focal point but um, he's also doing this for you so pray into that um, and pray for India um, India we know or if you don't know it's it's um, mostly Hindu um, religion from what I read it's one of the few regions of the world where Christianity has not been seen as a threat because they just didn't think that people would convert to Christianity um, but God wants to do a purification by fire so this uh, Bombay Sapphire I was like okay well that's a vodka but it's a gin um, you know I knew it was an alcohol but when I didn't know that it had anything to do with India until I looked it up. Um, Bombay is Mumbai. It's a city in India. And the the Kashmir Sapphire is um, mined in, um, it's called the Star of Bombay. It's a sapphire that's mined in India. Um, and the, the thing about this sapphire is like it has like a violet hue and that made me think of the purple that God had been speaking of and if you think about a fire like the part of the flame that burns the hottest is the white part which is up to 7,000 angstroms but the blue part of the flame burns at about 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 1650 Celsius. Um, purification by fire in the spirit would be the hottest vehement flame. So that would be the hottest flame, which is the white flame. When you purify silver and gold, it's around 2,000 degrees um, Fahrenheit he got me to looking up all this um, stuff about purifying gold and silver when you purify silver or gold you melt it down in the fire to purge the impurities so he's purging the impurities from your heart um, when gold is mined it's barely discernible so you know in the spirit you may be um, barely discernible but God is bringing this purification by fire to cleanse your heart to clean out your heart to give you a new heart to take that stony heart and give you a heart of flesh as it says in Ezekiel 36 verses 25 and 26 um, you can pray into that with that verse 
um, for God to cleanse you and cleanse your heart, to, to take your stony heart and give you a heart of flesh. Um, sometimes that happens in our lives. You know, we start to become numb to things and God's like, nope, you're leveling up. It's, it's time for more cleansing. There's more cleansing. There's more cleansing. You know, and there, this is just a, an ever ongoing process that the Lord um, does with you throughout your life. Um, because we're, you know, we're in the world, but we're not of it. But we're around these things and, um, you know, we're human. So things happen. So God is purifying hearts and he's um, going to be bringing up some old things so that you can deal with these things and that you can um, heal this trauma from the past, from your life, bitterness, um, unforgiveness, things like that. Pride um, is one thing he's been working with me on. Um, there's a, been a spirit of Leviathan um, coming around and I had to pray against that um, today and was really strange because I did go to that church service and it was awesome um, thank you prophet Kirk um, it was awesome and they were very welcoming to me and I was so scared to go to church and this is just you know another mountain that I had to climb I had to get over that fear of, of church hurt and I know that so many of you probably have dealt with that in your life where you have been hurt by the church and and so to go back um, to church is really hard but you have to let the Holy Spirit guide you and lead you to the right place at the right time and um, you know God will show you, he'll show you the way he'll, he'll give you signs and um, if you're praying and, and seeking him, he's, he's going to guide your steps. He guides um, his children's steps. So um, if you are in covenant with the Lord, he is going to show you what you need to do to get further down this path. Because um, he loves you so much and he, he wants you to overcome all of these things in your life. Because he wants unity in the church. He wants us to be together. He wants us to fellowship together. He wants us to seek counsel and um, to be with other believers and um, further ourselves in, in life. This was really, it was really difficult for me. I've struggled with um, social anxiety my whole life. I was very shy when I was growing up and um, terrified, in fact. I mean, I never took speech class in seven years of college because I was absolutely mortified and terrified of speaking in front of people and you know that was part of my fear was you know what am, what am I gonna say are they gonna ask me to say something or that you know are they gonna try to talk to me I mean <laughs> I mean it may seem stupid to you but these are real fears that people have and um, you just got to trust in the Lord and go with you know what he's showing you and um, it was wonderful but um, you know, they asked me to stand up with a microphone and say my name. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> so I was like, my name is Leah. <laughs> I mean, you guys, I just, uh, yeah. So anyways, so there's a purification by fire. And pray for India um, in your prayer time. Pray for India and war against persecution against Christians. Pray that God purifies the hearts of those who are over there, that God brings revival in India. And pray for your brothers and sisters in Christ um, that people get healing um, and um, can heal from the trauma in, in their past and in their lives. And they can... Um, come out of this unforgiveness and, and bitterness and pride. Pray against Leviathan in the mighty name of Jesus. That was, that's the word from the Lord. Um, I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Um, if you can sow a seed, if you feel so led to sow a seed um, in the mighty name of Jesus, I would so appreciate that, this ministry. 
to keep this ministry going um, so that I can keep seeking the Lord and bringing messages to you. Um, the Lord will provide. The Lord will provide. And um, I pray over every seed that has been sown. And I am, I am so thankful to those of you who have sown seeds. It, it is, I wouldn't be able to do this with, without you. I wouldn't be able to be here. I wouldn't be able to survive um, if the Lord had not used you to help me do this in the name of Jesus. So I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Seek the Lord. He loves you so much and he wants to help you heal in the name of Jesus.